Hi YouTube, this is Natalie here at Her Authentic. Today we have an exciting video for you on some of the updated Gucci bags that are currently in my collection. I was actually recently in Singapore, as some of you know, and I was crushing on the Gucci Small Marmont camera bag, and I actually just took the plunge and I bought it. So now I have about four Gucci bags in my daily rotation, and I kind of wanted to show you the pros and cons, price points, and more or less what they hold. Um, it's funny, I used to be, you know, really into large bags, and I carried a Neverfull GM daily and a Goyard St. Louis GM. And, you know, over time, as I become hands-free and carry less and less, I've started to carry just small bags. So in this video, we're going to go over the Gucci Super Mini Marmont, also the camera bag, the Dionysus wallet on chain, as well as my newest bag, the Gucci Supreme just web strap messenger. So I'll kind of get started on um, these as far as what are my first thoughts, the pros and cons. If this is something that you are interested in, just stay tuned for the video. If you are new to our channel, my name is Natalie at Her Authentic. We have a secondhand designer uh, resale business. However, these are my personal bags. So on this channel, you will see a mix of reviews as far as my personal bags, some of the pros and cons for bags that you're going to purchase as an investment. And then this video here, which is just a review of my four personal Gucci bags. So first I want to show you the uh, Super Mini Marmont. This is in the black. I like the antique gold hardware. I love that it isn't that shiny gold. I feel like with the antique gold, it makes it a little bit more casual. I noticed when it was like a super shiny gold, I wouldn't reach for it as much because it made it a little bit dressier for me. And I'm usually 90 5% casual and about 5% dressed up. So what I love about this, of course, is that it does fit my iPhone XS Max in the case. It also does have a pop socket. I am filming on it right now, so that is why we will not be using it for the purpose of this video. The strap is detachable, so I absolutely love that I can wear it also as a clutch as a waist bag, a shoulder bag, or a crossbody. And the price point at $8.90 makes this a really good bag. So when I am using this, it will only fit, let me grab it from this bag here. So the two things I use in this bag, it's mainly just like a date night bag, something I wear when I go out. I use my Chanel O case, which fits perfectly, as well as my iPhone XS Max. I'll just use these two and it closes perfectly. So that is basically my daily wallet and my phone. So this is basically one of those just small bags to use for evening wear. Definitely not something I think you could wear as your everyday, you know, carry the essentials bag because that's really all it holds. It might hold also a gloss, but that would kind of be it. So my current favorite, favorite bag, and this is something I have literally not changed out of since I got it, is so this is the Gucci small Marmont camera bag or just the shoulder bag. What I absolutely love about this, of course, is the antique gold hardware again and how easy you have this little side tassel to get in and out of. So when you have seen the Gucci Soho, it has a really thick tassel and the, bo uh, the bag is a little bit more square. So I had that bag and I sold it personally because I noticed it was really hard to get in and out of right to the zipper. You had to pull like three ways and it just wasn't something I enjoyed getting in and out of, right? But with this being um, kind of on the longer side and not a tassel, it makes it really easy to get in and out of. I also like how it is an adjustable strap. And I know this is so silly and maybe you will kind of see what I'm talking about, but it also has this little clip here to catch the extra fabric. So being um, 5'4", I always wear the bags on the shortest setting and the Soho doesn't have these two clasps here. So then the strap would just hang. And when you have this much leather hanging, that's a lot of leather to just not be, you know, through a belt loop, I guess that's the correct term of it. So this is something that I really, really love as a feature of this bag. 
And then other things that I love, of course, is the back here. So if you don't want to have the hardware in the front, you can also wear it on the back. But more importantly, the things that I love about this bag is the price point at $12.90, um, which just had an increase from its previous price of $12.50 and then of course everything that it holds. So I find it really easy to get in and out of. The pocket, as you can see here, fits a clay perfectly. So I'll kind of show you that first. So the normal clays won't fit all of my keys. Uh, and I found this one recently. I got it, of course, used because it holds everything. So I have my car key, our gate key, and a tile since I'm always losing my keys. And I can't use a six key fob because I have too many keys and they're too bulky. So I found this one here that keeps them in. And this keeps it from scratching my phone. It keeps it from getting caught on other things. So now I have all of my keys like this and I can transition from purse to purse pretty easily. And then of course, the best part about that, as I had mentioned, is it fits in this little pocket perfectly. So this will fit a card holder or in my case, the clay that I love. I also have my Chanel O case, my favorite Ray-Bans, and I have about three different glosses in here, as well as eye drops, and it still fits my phone in the case and a bunch more items. So definitely a really, really great bag. One of my favorites right now. I was considering getting it in the Porcelain Rose, but I had sold the Porcelain Rose Mini. It's just, uh, I, I love the bag by itself and I love the color, but I noticed I wasn't reaching for it as much because it would clash with the different colors I was wearing. And then now that I've gotten the black one, it's just seriously my nonstop favorite bag. It's all I've been wearing. I can't seem to put it down. So definitely no cons to this. I would say probably the only con is there isn't an extra hole to be more of a shoulder bag. It kind of sits long shoulder on me, but other than that, I absolutely have no cons. I am not exactly the easiest on my crossbody bags and I keep you know, bumping into corners. And I've noticed I have made no scratches or dings on the piping on the corners, which is so important to me. Of course, you know, fingernail scratches are something to worry about, but, um, you know, I'm really not someone who's going to, I guess, scratch it that much. So it's really in great shape already for having been used a few weeks. So next we have the Dionysus wallet on chain. So I was considering getting one of the larger bags, but again, I don't really carry much and had the medium and sold it again because it was a little bit too bulky for me. So I got this one in the suede. Again, it features the antique silver hardware and in the just uh, brown suede color. So this is $12.50 plus tax. Again, this isn't going to hold my sunglass case, but it will absolutely hold my essentials which are my iPhone XS Max, my clay, as well as my Chanel O case. And I'll kind of show you these in here so you can kind of get an idea. So here you have my O case and my clay, and it closes perfectly. I just can't close it, there you go. And it still has room for my phone and gloss. So it definitely holds my essentials. I absolutely love how it's a worry-free leather bag. So this is not a suede, it's just a uh, finished leather and really has nothing that would uh, worry me for the rain. It's just seriously a beautiful bag and at the price point of $12.50, I think it's definitely something to consider. And then last but not least is this one that just came into my possession. And it is something that has been on my wish list. Um, and the only reason I hadn't bought it before is because it is not a true crossbody bag. So this is the new uh, Gucci Supreme just messenger bag. I love, um, it's funny, so yellow is really not my favorite color, but for some reason it kind of just works on this bag. I love the vintage with like the modern twist on it. So this is actually the exact same dimensions as my Gucci small camera bag. The only difference of course is that the strap is not adjustable and it is not crossbody. So I am 5'4 and it is crossbody on me, but again, it is higher crossbody. But again, it, it's not an issue to me. It's still something I am going to use crossbody. This has an amazing price point at 980, which is another reason why I took the plunge and did it. So similar bags within this Gucci line of this size are in the 
13 to 1900 price range. So I'm not sure why this one is so affordable at the 980. I like how you could wear it on this side for more of a classy, you know, everyday look, or you could wear it on this side as well. Again, it's super easy to get in and out of because you have this long tassel and then the strap is detachable. So let's say you wanted it to be a true crossbody, you wanna wear it with another strap. They also make generic straps like this for about $50 on Etsy, so definitely an alternative. So you can do that and I love the clasp closure. It feels like a really secure, really well-made bag. And then of course the interior is just out of this world. So it has this stunning flower design and it's just really, let me get all the tags out here. So it really just is a great bag. It's just a bag that I've been so excited to reach for and mainly um, as an alternative for uh, a dressed down look. So as you can see, I'm really into the Gucci Supreme canvas as I am into their leather bag. So if you are considering a Gucci bag, just go for it. If you bought a Gucci bag years ago, you'll know that the resale on them is absolutely not the best, but about two years ago, changing their design, they have really put a name out there for themselves and the resale value has also increased because of that. So before you buy a Gucci bag for 2000 and be lucky to get $500 for it, now if you buy that same bag for $2,000, let's say the small um, flap uh, from the Marmont line, you would be getting about fifteen to seventeen hundred for it. So it has a really great resale value. So definitely something I recommend getting. I would say that my favorite bag out of all of the bags here would be the this one followed by this one, of course, because of the shape. I think it's such a flattering bag on. I hope that this video helped to answer a lot of your questions about Gucci and why these are the best four bags to own. If you are new to our channel, just make sure to follow us on Instagram at Her Authentic, on Facebook as well, Her Authentic, and then you could also subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.